What's up everyone, Richie here, thanks for stopping by. I've got six Metazoo Tops Chrome Target Blaster Box to open, and I'm just going to crack right into it, just to make it easier, I already took the packs out of the boxes, so 24 packs total. Let's check out the hits, I'm super excited to see what these X-Fractor um, refractors look like, X-Fractors I think they're called. <laughs> Look at that, right off the bat. We got a cryptic camera. Chaos crystal base. Alright. Let me just get kind of get situated here. I needed that one too, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so there it is. This is my first time seeing an X-Fractor. It's white thing. Interesting. I don't see like, say like for regular refractors. Which is like this snally gaster. It'll say refractor. So I was kind of thinking for this, they would actually say like X-Fractor on the back, but it doesn't say anything, at least on this card. But wow, they're pretty neat. They really do remind me of the um, Pokemon Tops Chrome Technochromes. They got like that square pattern. All right, anyway. So first pack, nice hit already. I'll go ahead and I'm going to just sleeve that one up really quick. So there's no orange parallel border cards. Those are hobby exclusive, as you may or may not know. And just a regular pack with a regular refractor on that one. So what do you guys think of this set if you're into MetaZoo? And what do you think between retail versus hobby? It's going to be interesting. The retail stuff right now is definitely more readily available. So it, in theory, it should probably be cracked more. I really want to pull a Mothman X-Fractor. That's like my main number one goal or hit out of these boxes. Slide Rock Bolter X-Fractor. Originally it seemed like people were saying the Target Blasters had better hits and then, then it kind of reversed to Hobby and then back to Retail. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out and what cards and which parallels end up becoming desirable. All right, babe, the blue ox X Fractor. That's sweet looking. Oh, wait a minute. Tripadero. It's been really fun watching um, people's opening videos of this stuff, especially the people who haven't opened or heard of MetaZoo before, because so many sports uh, card shops got this stuff, and they've been like opening it for people. <laughs> so I've been watching this one channel where the guy's been opening it, and he's been like obsessed and just checking all the cryptids, like turning over the cards, seeing where they're from. It's pretty fun. Nice Chaos Crystal Refractor regular. And it's been so long since I've kind of done that for some of these. Like, I didn't know Squonk was from uh, Pennsylvania. It's so close to me. The PA is only like 25, 30 minutes away. Super off-centered squonk there. I have yet to pull a black bordered card. So I'm on the lookout for those in these packs. Nice X-Fractor.
and in my personal opinion is that the X Fractors Gold Rare should hold some value. Maybe not like 200 bucks like that one Mothman, but it is going to be hard to pull a Mothman X Fractor. Let me see him. Hey, Bigfoot. I pulled a green parallel Bigfoot in my hobby box last night. The same artwork, the original. Nice to see a Techno Bigfoot there. From my understanding is um, to get a gold rare of these is still like the one out of three. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if it feels that way to me. But to be determined. Looks like we got something here. Possibly another cryptic camera. Oh, there we go. Medium's third eye. Cryptic camera hit. That back there. X Fractor Lizard Man. In my original case, I pulled every silver refractor except Chibi Mothman number 11. So I'm on the lookout for that too. Crazy enough, I almost completed that whole set with one case. Oh, look at that. Gold. Gold bordered alien astronaut. Let's take a look at the number on this one. Number 16 out of 50. And so all these packs here, two packs left of the first three blaster boxes and basically the first uh, target order that I did. So I figured it would be good to compare like the different orders, do it that way. X Fractor, Walking Sam. All right, last pack of the first three blaster box order. Already three hits so far. Compared to a hobby box, you wouldn't be able to get two bases like that. Two base cryptic cameras. You could get one base and one or maybe more parallels, though. All right, Rainbow Wizard X Fractor. And ends on a Jersey Devil. All right, on to the next side. So I'm going to put these over on this side here. So there's are three hits from the first three. So averaging one hit per box in the early goings here. Chessy, nice. Local cryptid, Chessy X Fractor. So yeah, I'm definitely going for a complete base tops current, which I should have already. Haven't even organized those just because I'm still going to be opening so much stuff. So I should definitely have one complete base, if not more. Like I said, I'm that one Chibi Mothman refractor away from a complete silver refractor set. And then definitely going to be going for an X Fractor set. I might go after some green parallels too. That's kind of like a long term goal. Lizard Man X Fractor, the other artwork of it. 
and a hey a gg bird green bordered so i'm racking up these green borders see what number that's out of Number 67 out of 99. So a green and a gold. Two cryptic cameras so far. Nice X-Fractor Metal Man of Alabama there. Always cool seeing a ghost train. Pretty neat that the X Fractor comes into addition on these packs. Doesn't replace anything, so you get an extra card every few packs with those. Oh, I think I see something. Looks like another cryptic camera. Oh, wow. A green cryptic camera. Piazza bird. Pizza bird. Nice. I got a green Fresno Nightcrawlers. I got that on eBay, but I might reconsider now that I've got two of them. Might have to pull that listing now. All right, so this is the last pack from the second box. <laughs> and Gumbaroo. Oh, is that something? X-Fractor Gumbaroo? Wow, so that was from the same box, actually. So two hits from the same box. Gold-bordered white thing. It's 29 out of 50 there. Oh, did we check this number? Piazza is 49 out of 99. That's pretty cool looking. So, so far I think the Piazza cryptic camera is the biggest hit. So far. And there's four packs left, so one box left. So far, every box has had at least one hit. Nice. Hodag X Fractor. And I haven't even been counting these, but I guess these are kind of hits, but just because they're every so often, not every pack, every seven or ten packs or something. All right, two packs left. All right, here we go, last pack, let's see it. Last pack magic. If 
not, it would be the first out of the six boxes that doesn't have a hit, but I do see something it looks like. Oh, and I jumped right to it. It says a Jersey Devil cryptid camera. Hey, Pokewudgie. X Fractor there. All right, so every box is at a hit. These cryptic cameras seem to be pretty popular with these blasters. Kind of just zoom out a little there. GG Bird hiding in the back. So two greens, two golds, and three cryptic cameras. So far out of my first Target blaster box opening, a Metazoo's Tops Chrome. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more.